Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that's dropped over the afternoon and last night. So we actually have a master list now of everything that's been delayed or has had production stop on it. Uh, there's a lot of Disney news to talk about. And we have some stuff, some surprises that might be coming to video on demand and stuff. But first, let's talk about Disney because Disney is in a world of hurt. And in fact, it's not as far as like theme park wise, they're not the only ones hurting right now. I was looking at a different article, like even like a uh, SeaWorld and Six Flags, all these other big theme parks, they're all hurting. In fact, they've seen their, their values chop in half, which is, it's crazy to think about that. The fact that something comes down that far, but look at Disney's stock for today. It actually went, it actually went to $79 and 52 cents. At first, it, it launched out of the gate today at $87 and 58 cents. And then it plummeted all the way down to 79 bucks. And it, when it hit that, people bought it. So it spiked back up from $79 all the way up to $88.82. And I think, I think that's likely because it dropped down to 79 bucks. Now, my prediction is if things continue like they are, I think Disney stock could hit $60. I think that's as low as it'll go. I don't think it'll go lower than that. But. Man, this stock was 140 bucks, literally, I think like 30 days ago. And for the first time in years, I don't think Disney stock has been lower than $100 in a long time. And it's it's down to, it, it hit $79 today. That's insane. That is crazy. If it hits 60 bucks, I might buy some. <laughs> I might buy some. Uh, we'll see where it goes. I'm really watching this stock and a few others actually. Because what else is it? Why I'm like literally becoming, I'm literally like learning the stock market <laughs> because of everything going on right now. Because there's nothing else to watch. It's uh, it's time to pick up some new skills, I guess. So this I find really interesting. We'll see what happens. It bounced back up amazingly. I'm really shocked that it went from 87 down to 79, back up to 88. But like I said, I think that's because people were grabbing it. Uh, I would not touch that stock right now unless it just drops down to such a, a safe a safe bet. I wouldn't I wouldn't touch it because it's not going to go back up to 90. As long as everything keeps going like it is right now, that stock is in a lot of trouble. In fact, everything that they own is in a lot of trouble. I was looking at this, like even their television program. So I don't know if you know about this, but they own ESPN. What are people on ESPN going to talk about? <laughs> what are they going to talk about while all this is going on? Let's let's think about that. Because NBA, NHL, baseball, March Madness, none of it's going on right now. It's all been canceled. So what do we talk about on ESPN, a 24-hour network that literally consists of news anchors most of the time and drama revolving around sports there are no sports to talk about so this is just another factor that's hurting disney right now the parks are all closed the television programming is being delayed they just launched that new streaming service a lot of the stuff that was in production that 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 that, that streaming service needs can't move forward so they can put a lot of older stuff on there, which they're still not doing, by the way, because I've kept my Disney Plus. I got it free for a year through Verizon. So what are you going to do? You know, there's big questions here with Disney that I think is very interesting. And I'm just fascinated because, you know, out of all this, we might see the downfall of like the most juggernaut of corporations right now. Disney is is a, is king of media right now. They are top dog. And to see them plummet like this is is interesting. And the people that I feel bad for are the workers, you know, people that work at the parks, people that work in their stores, you know, stuff like that. I feel bad for them. I really do. And my heart goes out to them. But this is, this is I don't think, we, we've never seen anything like this. It's been a long time. So I find it interesting, to say the least. And I think a lot of other people do as well. So we'll keep you updated. But Disney's one to watch right now. I mean, everything's down big time. I'm just wondering, when does the bottom, when do we hit the bottom? <laughs> Will we hit the bottom anytime soon? Uh, did a video on this the other day. Bloodshot is getting a video on demand release, which I think is very smart. It's going to be March 24th. You'll be able to 
buy it digitally, which is insane. So you're going to be able to buy movies now digitally. You know what I'm saying? This is this is insane. This is a first. This is a long time prediction. Like I don't under like I don't know if I can uh, stress how much of a big deal this is because there's always been a tradition, and like a, I don't know if it's a rule or unspoken rule or what, but a movie would come out in the theaters. Okay, it runs its course, and then in between its time in the theaters, it's usually you know a long period. I don't know if it's to rest it, so there's a desire to see it again or what. There's a little bit of a period for the movie and then a home release. You know, you have to wait. And now this just came out this weekend. And March 24th, you're going to be able to purchase it. And what's interesting about this is if this is successful and everything clears up, let's say this movie comes back and ends up making a ton of money. What if it's successful as a VOD? What if it makes a ton of money, right? That might send a signal to studios that, hey, maybe we don't need movie theaters. And that could have a backlash when all this clears up. What if, what if they don't, what, you know, what if this hurts them even more? It's just, it's just a thought, but this is a pretty significant thing. And it's not just Bloodshot, a bunch of Universal's movies are going to start releasing on video and demand. And you know, so this is going to be thing. See, the Hunt, the Invisible Man, and and uh, Emma are going to be available through streaming. It's going to be on Amazon Prime, and they don't mention too much else. I'm sure if you have cable, you'll be able to you'll be able to buy them there. I'm wondering, okay, well, what about you know Xbox, PlayStation, stuff like that? Will I be able to download it off of those? Because a lot of people use consoles as you know media hubs i use my xbox as a media hub basically it's how i pretty much watch everything on my tv and you know so is that going to be on there but to be fair i think there's an amazon prime app i do have amazon prime i mostly use it through my tv which has the service so uh, i think most people have that so it's not a really big deal but it would be nice if i could if i could get it on my xbox but this is just i mean this is just crazy to me because this has never been done before we're at least seeing like things that have never been done, and it's crazy. And speaking of that, here's one thing for Disney. So this is another big rumor. Disney thinking about releasing Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow directly to Disney+. Plus. Now, here's the thing with this. Uh, they they kind of have to. So this is like a lot of people are talking about delaying this could hurt this year's MCU plans, and I kind of agree and you kind of need to do it to save a little faith. Like their stocks are so low. What are they going to do? So there's, there is the plus side. The movie will likely lose money doing this. This won't be a win for them. But by releasing this on Disney Plus, it would give reason for people to pick up the, the service. Uh, what else is there right now? I think WandaVision is still coming. But that's because the filming has been completed on it. But here's the thing. Like, how much of that show is finished? So is everybody going to come in and work on the film? You know, with everything going on right now? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, that's not something doing the post-production on that movie or the production on that movie, even though it's done being filmed, you still have to put the effects in and all that other stuff. Like it's not a one-man job. You need a team there. So I'm wondering, will WandaVision be delayed? You know, it's, it's, it's an interesting question. So what could they do to save face a little bit? Well, they could release Black Widow on on Disney Plus. It would it would make people buy it. Number one, like you would sign up for the service and give it a boost, and then that's something that Disney could boast about and put a press release out. Like, boom, yeah, look at this. Disney Disney Plus subscriptions are on the rise, stockholders. You know, and maybe boost their plummeting stock back up a little bit because that thing being under a hundred bucks is embarrassing. Also, I apologize. Just a minute ago, I was saying that WandaVision might still be going on. No, it's delayed. It's delayed. So I might do a separate video on this, actually. But I'm going to go over some of the big hitters. So this is where the list is. So WandaVision is delayed. In fact, all of the shows have been delayed. I was. I guess this is new. I guess they finally announced it, so I apologized. But yeah, all of the Marvel shows are done. So that puts more urgency on them possibly releasing Black Widow onto Disney Plus because what else is coming? 
As well as Marvel's movies being hit, the upcoming Disney Plus shows are also halting production. The Falcon and Winter Soldier stopped production, and it looks like WandaVision and Loki are on hold. What the hell else do you have coming to Disney Plus then? Black Widow might be the only thing that they can pull out of a hat. And like I said a million times, the future is streaming. There's only going to be like one or two that emerge. It's just a fact. No one's going to have a demand for all these streaming services. The whole thing that made streaming like a popular thing was the price. And that's what led to the whole cutting the cord thing. There's no point if there's like five or six different streaming platforms. People will check out. Someone will emerge a winner. And then everyone will just sell their stuff, their content to those streaming platforms. It's vital that Disney gets a foothold on there. So because of that, I do, I do believe, in fact, I can almost promise you Black Widow is going to come to Disney Plus because they've got nothing else. That's all they've got. And they're just going to have to. They're going to have to bite the bullet on it or they're going to see their stocks come down. They need some kind of announcement to, to boost those stocks up. But here are the big heavy hitters. Let's just go over them real quick. Elvis, the Batman, finally delayed. Uh, Shang-Chi, Jurassic World. The Little Mermaid, Matrix 4, Fantastic Beast 3, Avatar 2, Uncharted, the movie, which has been in development hell for years. So <laughs> I don't even, they didn't even have to announce that. I would have thought it anyway. Uh, the Witcher Season 2, Stranger Things, and other Netflix live action productions, Lord of the Rings, Line of Duty, uh, the Arrowverse shows, I don't think anyone's going to care, and a lot of of network TV shows. I'll just scroll through those so you can see them yourself. Talk shows, uh, The Walking Dead, and a lot of cable TV shows. And it's not, that's not it. Like, also, like talk shows are also delayed as well. Like everything is screwed up from this. So, uh, <laughs> this is probably the most interesting stuff to follow right now. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll check on Disney again tomorrow and I'll see if it's worth talking about it again. I think they might hit $70 this week. And I think within a three to four weeks, you might see that stock hit 60. Now, if they announce Black Widow coming to Disney Plus and they put a focus on it and make it a Disney Plus spotlight, like, hey, look, we're going to bring this Disney Plus, uh, check it out. And they may be, you know, they might have to lower the price even too. You need to entice people to pick it up. I think that could raise their stocks up momentarily we'll see what happens anyway that's pretty much it guys give me your thoughts what do you think about all of this madness i'd like to hear what you have to say also throw a like up if you would share the video uh i'm shadow banned on twitter right now so you probably won't see it if i share it on there so please consider sharing it also if you would make sure you're still subscribed subscribe if you're new hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys on the next one peace also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.